Hey. You have got to get off your ass and realize you're better at the game than you think you are. I promise you it's true. If my old bot ass could elevate my gameplay and become good at the game, I promise you, you guys can too. And look, when it comes to playing the game, I always recommend solos to practice your gun skill, for sure, no doubt about it, because it's easier to get one-on-one -on -one fights, but for a lot of people, if you're like me, I like to play with other dudes, right? Well, that, that's, that came out of... I didn't mean it like that. I like to play with the homies, man. I like to have teammates to, to go off with and banter with and help me win gunfights that I might not be able to win. And saying that, guys, uh, look, if you want to get better, the, one of the best ways, one of the best ways is to play with people better than you or at least have a little bit more knowledge. So with saying that, Join our Discord community and use the Looking for Groups pages to find yourself some teammates that either A, are better than you, or B, they're at least trying to become a better player so y'all can work together to win your gunfights. Now, to talk about Dilly Dilly off rip, he took a long range gunfight with a gun that is by far the worst range gun in the game. You're better off attacking the enemy with a pistol at that range. Um, so in that aspect right there, look, that he just shouldn't have been there. Two, I want you guys to notice how separated these guys are. They're not near each other. So, go, again, going back to teamwork, man, I know a lot of you guys load up and do a series of quads. You play with some randoms, and it's kind of a toxic fucking cesspool. I know. I know. So, again, join the Discord, man. There's a lot of people in there trying to get better at the game. Um, and, you know, one team might not be good for you, and that's fine. Just jump to the next team. Just keep trying, because when you guys finally get some squad members, not only does the game become a lot more fun just playing with other people, but also, you don't have to always solely rely on your one-on-one -on -one gameplay you might have a teammate that can kind of be there to back you up if you need it. if you go down he's there to help finish the enemy off um and that helps you survive longer while surviving longer you're gonna get further through the game and i would hope that surviving further along in the game means you get more gunfights so again getting the reps in honestly not mad that the guy we were spectating left again you you guys want to be together so right now it's duo quads we're already down bad dude playing quads without four is hard it is difficult for anybody man because like even if you watch your top tier player stream right if you watch like symphony and all these guys like they're always together you might have a few matches where people break off but notice the difference in the gameplay when teams are sticking together and notice the difference in the gameplay when uh people are going off solo depending on the lobby most of the time it's not going to be as rewarding as just sticking together and blowing through other squads. He lagged his ass off. So right now, we got to get our teammate back, and we're making our way over there. Now, we got to be very careful. And look, I like that he's scanning, but he's ads right now scanning. You want to stay out of your sight so you have a better field of view, a wider field of view, so you can see if any heads pop up on the rooftops. It's like whack-a-mole. If you guys are ads, you can only see that small little area. He didn't get him killed, and it doesn't seem like a big deal, but I promise you, things like that when you're scanning, very, very crucial. Again, got to stay focused on the prize, man. We got to get our teammate back. Let's see where his teammate's at. It's a little staggered, and again, because we're already down bad, we are duo quads. You don't really want to have this stagger. Because again, if other squads that are playing together end up four stacking you, it's going to make your life real, real difficult in the game. And you know, I truly mean it, guys. Like, you don't, you don't have to grind this game for 12 hours a day to be a decent player, to have a 2KD, to have a 3. You don't. There's plenty of friends that I have that have 3 plus KDs, and they literally work 9 to 5s. They come home, they play for 3 hours, and then they're off, right? Back before I became a streamer and YouTuber seven years ago, I had a normal job. I worked 12 hour shifts, six days a week. I'd still come home, play the game for an hour or two. And still in those Call of Duties, I had a five plus KD. And I'm not flexing. I just want to put an example out there for you guys that even hardworking guys like yourselves, you can have the skill that you do want to acquire. Now, if you want to be like Breadman or Shroud, You'll have to quit your fucking job, <laughs> no doubt about it. That's uh, that's a lot of practice, a lot of a lot of training, man. But again, just finding players to to hang out with and vibe with, y'all can just help elevate each other so much. Yeah. 
We got a ping out, not sure what. It's a danger ping for sure. We marked the self res. I don't know. Maybe our teammate fat fingered it. Also, rumor has it the Discord's coming to PlayStation. That's pretty big. That's pretty freaking big, man. Look, 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 look at the stagger. And then he leaves. Look, you gotta stay together, man. Especially if you're especially if you're fresh. Land on your teammate. Work with the teammates. And then he instantly backs out too. I mean, look, I, I loved I loved in Warzone 1 how we could go off solo and we could play, you know, squads, but you gotta realize this is a lot more tactical battle royale. You've got to stick together. If you don't stick together, your time will be a lot harder. Now you do have a lot of exceptions to the rule. You probably have 20 players out there that can actually go out and solo. But for the most part, the majority of the players, huge majority of the players, don't even try it. If you ever find yourself in trios or quads by yourself, get back to your team, no matter where they're at, whether you agree with their position or not. You're better off working with your squad when they're in a shit ass position than you are working by yourself if you're in a good spot. And again, another stagger. Granted, we're not really dying to full stacks, we're dying to one guy, but again, if we were there, to help our teammate, if our teammate was with us, we could have attacked that possible solo as a duo and won that fight. Now, what he's doing right now is just map awareness. Again, the, the game's new. I'm not going to go at him. There, you know, there's a lot to correct with it, but you just have to learn the map. I'm still learning a lot of the spots of the map, too. That's going to take time for everybody. There's a lot of buildings I still don't understand either, just because there's a billion buildings on the map. All right, we're close to our squad mate now. So he was able to suppress the enemy. I don't like that we just jumped out of this fight completely. To play it up. Not to mention, if it is a 2v1, which is what it looks like, there's no reason why Vladdy and Ethan couldn't just push them together, especially when Ethan had him clearly hit. Enemy jumping up on the ladder to the back left-hand side. I don't think Vladdy sees that. He doesn't. Not to mention, we have the P90 out right now. I don't know if he's got a long range weapon, but you don't want to have the P90 out right now. Uh, the Costco's going to be a little bit better, but not not much better. And the reason why you don't want the P90 out on the, on the ridge is because if someone pops out and starts shooting at you, you're not going to be able to do anything but basically throw airsoft pellets at them. Even the Costco at this range, you might want it, to... It, it's, a, it's a rough weapon because of the, the bullet damage at the range. They're great guns, close range. Even close to medium range for uh What is happening? Again, we've got this guy in a position. We could easily two stack this dude, but again, they're not playing together. I have a feeling that this guy might solo us. It's a weird feeling. Well, look, if you guys play with randoms, that play like this, meaning don't work together, make sure you buy some sneak energy. It, it won't help you guys find better teammates, but our Discord sure as hell will. will. Use code Savage at checkout. Again, okay, we have, okay, I don't know what the hell we're doing. I mean, this dude's literally next to us in the building and we're just, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. I gotta say, great job snapping to him, even stunned. Gotta check your magazine. Again, we're just kind of in a bad position right there. We are, we're just in a bad position. We didn't check our mags. We literally had no ammo in both of our guns. Um, and it seemed that a great job just collapsing. And again, look at that, right? Look at, look at these guys. They're staying together. They're playing together. This is how you want to play. So I am excited to see this squad. All right, Chris has got three kills. User has zero. Dom rocking five and strapped with four. So we've got it. We've got got a decent fight so far. Now the circle's definitely going to not favor Octar Village. So at this point, we should just start at least thinking about where we're going to be rotating to. You don't want to say super hyper-focus hyper on a loot. Loot quickly. I see it too many times, you know. I know it's a little bit harder to loot in this game than it was Warzone 1. 
it takes a little bit more time. That's fine. It can take a little bit more time, but lower that amount of time. Nothing drives me crazy more than seeing people sitting around a bag and taking turns going in and out of it and then running off and they're like, wait, I forgot something. I got to go back. You got to get a lot more fluid with, with your looting. All right, so through here, I mean, we have vehicles, and vehicles would be your best bet. It's definitely not going to favor all Shireem either, so I would start thinking about where to position up in this area. The marshland endings, guys, it, I'm just going to be honest, the ending's going to suck, no matter what. You can play whatever position you want and be all cute all you want, but these buildings just are not fun to play uh, because when that last random circle pops up, it could just favor whoever. And because of the lack of cover out there, it's... it's it's a little difficult so we'll talk about that more when the in-game situation comes and again in-game rotations are crucial i always tell you guys stay away from the edge of the gas but that's always beginning and middle of the game you want to always try your best to play the edge in game so you're not the center of focus of the last 10 enemies in a small ass zone why does my camera keep turning all right here we are mid fight we've got a nice ridge we've got several buildings I, we really weren't in the best spot not to mention again we're on the edge which isn't a bad thing in this spot because we are gatekeeping but the problem with gatekeeping in this area is the fact that there's a lot of people going to be here so there's a good chance while we're shooting these guys we get shot from the back or even the side i wouldn't expect that but yeah that too let's see how our team collapses and helps us out real quick again all this high ground behind us is what scares me i'm not going to say no to gatekeeping i just wish we had a little bit better spot but as long as we keep the buildings to our back and we don't have to worry about them it's not terrible you just have to play this down to the t and do not full send i think you just about to jump down there he's scaring me a little bit and also as you're fighting this just continuously peek and just make sure no one's pushing from behind you because if i'm in if i'm in this what is this shareem if i'm in shareem dude and i hear a gunfight that close to me i'm gonna take a peek and see what the hell's going on not only can i third party and get one team but i might be able to wipe two I do like how he swipe swap the weapons per the situation. I always want to encourage you guys to go to strongholds, black sites. You want to get them big backpacks. Um, rocking three weapons is always beautiful. Always. Um, sniper, submachine gun, pistol, as well as an AR combo it is just great. And you'll see when I stream, I'll if I have it, I'll switch it out all the time. If I'm in a long range fight, I'll have my sniper out. If I'm like pushing in an area like this, I'll put the sniper in my bag and I'll be carrying my AR and my um, close range, either the SMG or the dual Kimbos. All right, so again, so playing edge a little too long. And this is the position I'm talking about. And if you play the edge and you get in a fight, this is the fear right here. It's, it's not like, oh, don't play the edge because you're going to be in a fight with someone and I don't want you guys to fight anybody. The problem with playing the edge is fighting other people fighting the gas and getting third party by other teams playing the edge as well as the teams that are safe because again they're going to be looking at us at least they should be from what we've seen we might be clear but i'm surprised no one's on the biggest building on this side of the zone um which is right here and i'm surprised that not only they're not up there they're not shooting at us if there is somebody in this building they'll be a little bit more observant so unfortunately team went down we've only got one player left and we're sitting in a corner now this is technically getting end game this is a spot where you know i don't, I don't mind you want to slow it down this zone right here however this is going to be a difficult win for a solo player in quads it's going to be virtually impossible for the majority of players I'm curious to see what he does. Because look, if you're sitting in a corner, you're too afraid to look now and too afraid to move now, what's gonna happen when you have to? And again, you're gonna be fighting gas. That's technically an enemy. You don't wanna fight the gas. But again, we're down, we're down horrendous right now. There's really no like, there's no perfect strategy at all that I could say to help this man out. There just isn't. As far as positioning, you want to go ahead and try to play your way from the south 
and rotate this way. You don't want to go this direction because there's a lot of people in these clusters of buildings. You'll probably still have a team or two here, but it's a lot less than what's going to be in the major city. So I would rotate. I would have rotated like 40 seconds ago from the south and started rotating. Um, now we're going to have to, you know, cross the water, go under the bridge. I'm still shocked no one's here, especially with the loading of buy right there. And again, he's, he's probably going to hug this building if he survives. And we're going to have to go up top anyway. And I'll have to rotate in a really bad spot once again. There's a laser in the bush next to us too. I just don't think we're going to win this. And again, you know, would he have survived and won this game? Hell no, but you have a better chance rotating away from the majority enemy is going to be at. So let me tell you guys a simple trick, guys. If you are in a bad spot, rotate to the area of least, least resistance. The path of least resistance. Where do you think players won't be? That's where you rotate to. And you don't wait. You do it fast. Otherwise, you end up having to fight a thousand teams at the same time. You end up getting third party just like basically every fight we've witnessed um, in the last five minutes. All two of them. Aim's a little off. Sensitivity needs to be decreased. I wouldn't say slightly. Doesn't have to be decreased a lot. But the ADS sensitivity needs to be adjusted for sure. Tune that shit down. If you're playing on a standard one and your aim looks like that to where you're overshooting the target, turn it down. Go to a point nine. Try that out. Do you still see that same kind of tracking issue? Go down a little bit more. Point eight. Remember, ADS sensitivity only affects your sense when you're ADS. Oh, we have no gas mask. Now, where's his teammate at? Where's his teammate? Why'd we leave him? I don't agree with that at all. Again, you're already duo quad as it is in game. There's five other teams left. It's a small circle. And when you get out the vehicle, enemies will know where you're at. You want to have your homie with you. You want to try to get to your teammate or at least pick him up. I would have I would have just waited and picked his ass up. You know there's an enemy over here because of the cluster. And again, you have the building to your left-hand side. He beat me to it. You have the building to your left-hand side that you're going to have to worry about. But again, just splitting off, they didn't really stand a chance once again. And there's a lot of regains where you'll see, you'll see myself and my own team in that position. And we'll literally sit there, wait. We might drive around, but we'll always go back for them. You don't want to just sit there vulnerable and get tapped in the head, but make sure you pick your teammate up so you can fight together. You don't, you're in a bad spot. Why make it a lot worse? And again, another solo situation. <laughs> now at end game, I don't mind. At end game, I don't mind this. Play it slow. You're better off when you're solo to let other teams fight themselves and, and kill themselves off. Don't do, don't, don't, don't. You're going to need that, brother. Stop, stop it. Again, I'm a huge fan of my idea to uh, launch an EMP within the last two main zones. This one and the, well, this small circle is about to close and the one that bef happened before it closed. I'm a huge fan of EMPs going off and disabling all vehicles. This is just gonna, yeah, I don't know what we're doing, brother. We got a, is that a Claymore in there? I don't know if he sees that red flashing light. So 1v4 right now, this is where you have to start peeking. You can't wait. You got to have your picks. You got to pick these enemies off. We're able to get one. Look for the second. And they just flash us the kingdom come. Look at that shit. Wow. <laughs> Everyone we spectated into this match, guess what? They were all solos or duos. They're all getting picked off. Now, granted, even if you play together, you might lose a teammate for sure. But we saw how they were playing. Promise you, there was not much teamwork going on. So again, guys, if you're struggling to find teammates, join our Discord community. Link is in the description. Click the page that says just click here first. Select any role and then it'll open up all the pages for you guys to see. And just, hey, and just type in there, be like, yo, look for someone to play. Find some teammates, man. Get some wins. Get better at the game and try your best to have fun. But guys, until next time, man, y'all have a good one and good luck in Warzone.